young black males. This is my message, and it's going to come in the form of a story. And I'm going to tell you this story because it pretty much sums up what I'm trying to communicate. And that is, <laughs> you got to think before you do things, and you have to be careful who you hang out with. Be careful what you put in your life. Be careful of the type of people you want around you. Because one stupid decision can ruin your life. There's a situation where there was a robbery. Four or five men enter a home, rob this guy of money, jewelry. This happened in Detroit or a suburb of, D of Detroit. And somebody got killed. They end up killing the man. Now, most of these guys were grown men. 31 year old man, 25, 22 year old man, whatever. Grown men. And one of them was a youngster. 17 year old. About 17 or something. He wasn't quite 18 yet. And that's probably why he was so damn naive, thinking he was going to be charged as a minor. Well, these guys, they did this robbery and he was just there. He probably wasn't even the person who, who squeezed the trigger. He probably didn't even kill anybody, but he was there. On a night of the robbery and the murder, one of them called this kid to a location. And when the kid arrived, foolishly, the police came on in. The police came on in. Let me tell you something. You're going to hear a lot of people, a lot of your friends, a lot of older people, run their mouth about how, you know, I'll never go to prison. They, they'll never take me alive. And... I'm going out shooting, I'm doing this, I'm do Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Okay, the main guy running his damn mouth talking about he gonna do this, he gonna do that. He gonna be the first one snitching. All right, first one telling the police exactly where you're at. Gonna be like, okay, uh, <laughs> he's at 1403 Grasher Road, okay? And it's right off of Lapeer and uh <laughs> and dort <laughs> okay make a left turn here uh, right, right over there by that school and <laughs> that, i'll tell you the same people who acted all hard and stuff gonna <laughs> be the first ones who rat you out okay kids showed up the police got them now here again we're talking about a 17 year old 17 year old with a bunch of grown ass men and they all snitch they all got plea bargains got about maybe five maybe ten years they're probably out of prison within five years definitely want to know what happened to the kid that dumbass kid hanging out with them he was convicted of felony murder what is felony murder you ask felony murder is when you commit a felony such as robbery and it results in a death so let's say you enter a home and uh, you went to rob somebody or you entered a bank and you went to rob somebody and uh, your buddy decides he wants to unload his Glock into uh, uh, another human being, you could be facing felony murder ch charges because a, f a murder was committed while you were committing this felony. You know, your crime resulted in somebody getting killed. A lot of people don't think about that. Felony murder. So even though he didn't squeeze the trigger, he got life in prison. Life in prison. Life without the possibility of parole. Sounds harsh, sounds, sounds unbelievable, but he got life. And no, I'm pretty sure he wasn't even the, the trigger guy. Life without parole. Life would have been somewhere around 20 years. But can you imagine that? Just being at the wrong place with the wrong friends, wrong time. And you're getting life. Be careful who you surround yourself with. Be careful what you do. Because one stupid decision can lead to life. Okay, most of the people in prison, most of the black men in prison belong there. But a lot of them are doing time for crimes they didn't really commit. And a lot of these guys, a lot of these guys were young dumb and angry and they did something stupid and that's why they're in prison.
Yeah, I talked to a number of guys who were in jail when I did that, did that internship, and um, I gotta tell you, you know, <laughs> you know, don't let your anger lead you to do something stupid that can, something that can ruin your life. This goes to black males, goes to everybody. Everybody. One stupid thing. Another thing, a lot of people are in prison because they're just hanging... <laughs> They're just hanging around the wrong people at the wrong time. A lot of people are in prison because, you know, their buddies ran their damn mouth. They all snitched out on them. And plea bargain's all about, hey, you, you plead guilty and you get less time. So, something to think about. The main dude talking trash, talking about how he, he'll do this and he'll do that. The police better not raid this house or, well, yeah, okay. It's going to be the first one riding you out. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today.